My name is Frank Power and I'm an inspector with the Health and Safety Authority and my special area of work is ergonomics. The key message of this presentation is that employees who work with display screen equipment at computer workstations should have their workstations assessed by a trained assessor. They should also be provided with an eye and eyesight test if required and they should ensure that any improvements identified in the risk assessment are implemented. The objective of having measures in place to manage the use of display screen equipment is there to ensure the protection of the musculoskeletal health of staff who work at those computer workstations. There are four key tips that need to be considered. First and foremost, employees who work in computer workstations need to have their workstations assessed by a trained assessor. Secondly, the results of the risk assessment should identify any potential issues that need to be addressed. Thirdly, the employees need to be provided with training to make them aware of how to identify if there are any improvements that may need to be put in place at the workstation. And finally, employees need to be made aware that they are entitled to an eye and an eyesight test. So we need to also explore who are the people that are affected. Staff who normally use the computer workstation for continuous periods of more than one hour would also need to be assessed and computer workstations where employees generally are used by the member of staff throughout the day should also have their workstations assessed. So we need to explore what we mean by the risk assessment. Well the first thing that we should do is the assessor should attend and interview and talk to the employee working at the computer workstation and identify the type of work that they're doing at the workstation. If you look at this illustration you can see that there are a number of areas that need to be looked at. For example uh, how the monitor is set up, the type of seating being used by the employee, the lighting levels that are at the workstation, in terms of the desk, uh, the area underneath the desk and how that prevents access to the computer workstation. So as part of the risk assessment, the assessor will uh, talk to the employee, explain what they're trying to do. The second part of the risk assessment will be to identify the issues with the workstation that need to be addressed. These can be documented in a checklist format as identified in the illustration. For example, poor working posture may result as a result of the monitor being set too high, the fact that the seating is non-adjustable, which doesn't allow uh, the flexibility for the individual to set up the workstation appropriately. Thirdly, the lack of space underneath the desk prevents the employee maintaining a comfortable position. The lack of a document holder it means that the employee is crouched over in terms of trying to transfer information from his document onto the computer screen. And finally, the lack of good lighting conditions also results in the engagement of poor posture by the employee. So once these issues have been addressed and identified in the risk assessment, the necessary changes have to be put in place and they need to be agreed with the employee. So we can see here that the workstation has been improved significantly the monitor has been set up so that the employee is looking ahead and that there's very little downward movement of the head. We can also see that the employee has an adjustable seat which gives better support to the back for the employee. The employee also is provided with a footstool and a document holder to allow easier access to the document when transferring the information onto the computer. And finally, the lighting conditions are significantly improved. So once these changes have been implemented, the records should be kept and signed off. So just to summarize again, the key top tips for the use of display screen equipment are, firstly, to examine the workstation and talk to the worker, and this should be carried out by a trained assessor. To identify and address the issues of the risk assessment, including, for example, the provision of adjustable seating. Staff are also to be made aware that they are entitled to an eye and eyesight test and staff should be advised of the need to plan their work so that they can change their posture as often as possible and ensure that they're not sitting for long periods of time. These measures can help prevent the development of musculoskeletal health issues at work. My call to action is that people who work at computer workstations should have their workstations assessed and have any improvements implemented. Mm -hmm.